Well, hello everybody, and mm, fix this. And this is Auntie, and welcome to our watch live watch party, talking all things Legion. It appears that Legion went back on Simply Wavy, and did a part two interview to clear the record. I don't know if he made it worse or better, but you will make that decision. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh, yes, we shall. Everybody needs a sweet old auntie. Everybody needs. With a whoop whoop and a boop boop. boop. Auntie Ben You can't make this up. Now you know that these are some crazy motherfuckers. So why? So a uh, welcome back, y'all. If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And to all of my new subscribers, thank you all so much for hitting that subscribe button and joining this family. To all of my nieces, nephews, and my members who have been here with me for the long haul, thank you all so much for your continued support. Y'all, we are going to have our second live watch party on Legion. If you all remember Legion, Legion was the one who was featured in um, the TikTok viral series called Who the TF Did I Marry? Child, he went back on Simply Wavies to do a second part of his interview to clear up some of the comments and to give us new information. But child, I'm going to tell you, this, in my opinion, just won't. <laughs> it won't the right thing to do. And we're going to look at it together. Are y'all ready? Let's do it. So I'm going to put it up on the screen. I've asked Simply Wavy for permission to recap it, review it, and he gave permission. Thank you again, Simply Wavy. I always believe that if you're going to run somebody's content, especially in totality, that you should always reach out to the content creator out of respect. And um, I thank him so much for being so gracious and saying, yes, do you. Okay. So I appreciate you so much for doing that. So I'm going to bring it up. Huh. Let's see. Do I got it queued in? I got it queued in. And here we go. I do got it queued in, right? Yeah, you got it queued in, auntie. Okay, so here we go. To your defense. Are right, you remember the phone calls she used to make? That part of it is kind of confusing, I don't though. I care because how he feels, but right about now, I'm saying no. You had the accounts, the offshore accounts, and everything. No, she knew. She knew about it. She knew about what? I feel like we're beating a dead horse. Again, Christopher James Rogers, he turned into what I never thought he would be, which is a bump. Emergency. Now, who is Christopher James Rogers? I'm confused about it. Y'all let me know downtown in the comment section. Who is Christopher James Robbins or Robinson? I'm so confused. The surgery for appendix, leg crushed, arm crushed. I cared about living, breathing. That's that's simply what happened. You mentioned that Elgin could interview. Is that still a possibility? Um, right. Like at this moment, uh, I don't know what he's doing. Like I said, he's busy. Like I'm busy. My brother Elgin is uh, a. He's not like I said. He's not my blood brother. He just he's a pastor. He cared enough to call, reach out. This man was busy every day. Um, 
still busy. So um, I have to reach. I reached out to him and asked him, and he said he would. But the thing is, it's got to be when he got time. Unfortunately, this man, after all of this time, had time. Whoever he is, pastor, whatever, we all busy. But I'm going to tell you one thing that I noticed about him. And one of the things that Risa Tisa had indicated was that he can come up with his stories on a drop of a dime. And because he comes up with it on a drop of a dime, he doesn't think it all the way through. It just absolutely comes off as a line and a whole bunch of a lie and a whole bunch of bull, bull crap. I think that he does not he don't see himself and he doesn't see how he's um 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 you can leave if you want to. You can listen to him if you want. I mean, you can leave, Maud. Hey, mm -hmm. you can leave. Yeah. He doesn't listen to himself. He doesn't engage. He doesn't know how he's coming off. Like he just doesn't understand that he's coming off as a liar because nobody has all the answers, especially when you ask something right off and you just boom, you can just bring something off the top of your head. The average person cannot do that. Right. But if you have that skill of just always having a lie and make stuff up, ciao, let's go. Fortunately, he had to stand in front of the congregation and ask questions, answer questions about the same thing. If you care about somebody, you build them up. Now, he does have ads. So, unfortunately, y'all, we're going to have to go through the ads, okay? Uh, somebody asked, what was your major in college? Analytics. Jerome? Analytics. <laughs> McCoy. Did you graduate from there? Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a degree? Associate's degree, yes. Like, do you an associate's degree in analytics? An associate's degree in analytics? So, what are you analyzing? And how do you get an associate's degree in and can you get an associate's degree in analytics? Let me look that up real quick while y'all listen. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all look, but I need to find out. Can you get one? You have one that you have at your house. Uh it is in storage somewhere. I gotta look for it. We storage. really we we literally just moved. So like when I talked to you the other day, like I said, when we went on our mini vacation, we were in the midst of moving in here. Like the first time I did the video, like in the background, you can see the door open. Like we had boxes yeah. stacked. Not nary box is stacked behind him. I love how simply Wavy did this. He let the story tell the story. He let whatever inconsistency he brought forward, he let it tell the story. There's no boxes behind him. Them raggedy keys and that raggedy old door and them curtains, okay? Yeah, he got the music in the background for the graduation. Child, stop. Can you get an associate's degree? Can you get an associate's degree in analytics? They got little courses. Okay, they say you can get one. Okay. Like behind because we, we literally just moved in. Now moved in where? Is this your house or is this your girlfriend's? Oh uh, no, it's my house. Okay. Um we live together. We live together. Like she got her own place, but she moved in here with me, but we live together. She subbed at her house. But I we And he can't look straight at him. Now he said he got some stained raggedy keys up there. He said they was just moving in. There's nothing different about anything. Not even the door, not even the keys hanging on the back. He said that there were boxes and everything in there, right? And now he's saying that she moved in. This is his house, and she moved in with him, and she subleased hers. Okay. All right. Live here together. We live here. Okay, so you can't show the degree. Do you have any picture, any, like, on campus, walking around, 
with school bags, anything? Uh, somewhere. I got to find it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to write that down. We're going to try to get all these pictures. It's not the explanations. We just need, if you have pictures, that's the only thing. Um, what about the housing? Like you said, you had an apartment in the house. Do you have any video of you in both of those locations, just moving in or something that you could show? I don't have a video of me moving into a, the house. Like just I, anything. You chilling. You eating chips. You watching TV. Anything in that in those two locations? I got pictures of me in the house with uh, people that I know. Like he coming alive. He got to look to the left. The lies always to the right side. The confusion and trying to get it together is to the left. Um the let's see what is that the the charity that i used to work for i got pictures of that so he don't remember the charity that he used to work for with his analytical associate's degree okay oh uh, because i i think i no i did i invited everybody to the house one day and we all just hung out after we all worked all weekend there do you want to provide that um i gotta I, first of all i'm gonna ask the people who's in the pictures today no we're gonna blur their we're gonna blur their, their faces out we're not using nobody's face i got well, I know, I know the kids don't care, but I mean, like I said, some of the directors that I threw the party for might, but I know the kids don't care. So he now he's saying he threw a party. First, the monk said that he they just hung out. Now he said he threw a party. Then he gonna try to bring some kids in it. He's such a oh my god! This is at the house, not the apartment. Again, if you you can anybody who watched the video. Please do me a favor. Y'all want to do research and look up everything? Do this for me. If I if my main job is in North Cross, Georgia, and Duluth, Georgia is where the studio apartment is. That's where I went during the week because it's too far of a drive. And you look out where Douglasville is, you look from the distance from Douglasville, Georgia to North Cross, you look at Atlanta traffic, then you tell me this makes sense. I stayed in Duluth during the week. The traffic in Atlanta, when I got off work at five o'clock. <laughs> I think people understand the traffic in DC is bad. If you get off at two o'clock, it's bad. If you get off at two, God Lord. And the story, they just want to see any type of you know evidence of of everything. Anybody will tell you this much. I am not the first person. There was living in Atlanta that did this. There was a bunch of people doing this because traffic in Atlanta is horrible. Nothing. My driver's license had a Douglasville address. I never my tag for my car, Riverdale, Georgia versus Douglasville, Georgia. Ain't nobody giving up living, trying to live down in Clayton County. If you're a black man uh, living in Clayton County, get out. So okay. I live in Douglas County where it didn't matter the color of my skin. Um, and it's a very nice house. Um, gotcha. not to mention, not to mention. Now you did mention to me that Risa reached out to you, um, and, and you have some, you know, recordings of what she said. And can you explain what those were? Now this is where the whole lie come in. He didn't see that this woman had reached out to him. She warned him. Why would he lie about something that can be? Mm. Here we go, y'all. First, it was someone claiming to be her agent. Now it's someone in okay, so he went to Simply Wave. He told Simply Wave that the girl been reaching out to him. His first answer to the question is it was someone pretending that it was her. And I hung up on that person a couple times. And then they called back with her asking for me. And then it was, oh, well, I want you to collaborate the story with me so we can get paid. I'm like, so you want and you know, with all them keys up there, how many motherfuckers is living in there? But okay. Let me collaborate a lot. Do you have something you could show the where she calls you? Um, let's see. Uh do 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 a lot of the numbers they didn't have a name, and these are people just calling on her behalf. So they don't like I said, they didn't call me from a number to send my phone. Is there anybody you can call and verify that, hey, hey, who is this? And they say, oh, this is Teresa's representative. Um, Other than her lawyer? No. And he ain't going to do nothing to defame her. But again, like I said, I can ask, but that's a different situation. At the end of the day, it's who you. Y'all know this is ridiculous.
you trust. Not just here, but here. I know David Trump. Sorry, I've been in the trenches with him, sticking up for fairness and standing up for everyday people. He will protect the right to choose this and is fight a for hard, justice. A hard I trust David to always do what's right. Now. Wait for me, Anya. This is a Escape! <laughs> Now, as you all remember, this is the part where he says, when Simply Baby is going to ask him about the arena. Remember, he was saying that he was in arena football. Look what he discovered. It's okay, Siali. You can come back and skip over it if you want to and not look at it live, boo boo. But this is how he gets paid. He was gracious enough to allow me to stream this without copyright striking me or pulling my channel down. The least I could do is go through his ads. If it's uncomfortable for you and you want it to be, you know, like straight or whatever, just go ahead and fast forward through it, okay, babe? I'm going to allow him to get paid. Okay? That's from one content creator to another one. I understand it may be irritating to you, but at the end of the day, I'm going to put an ad on here or two or three. So if anybody's, you know, feels a certain way about the ads, please come back. Wait till the video is done. Come back and look at it later, okay? I don't want anybody to be stressed out over ads. Thank you all so much. A lot of people are asking about the arena football. They mentioned that the arena football league has been shut down for years. Because you got fans returning tickets because of this stuff with Teresa. Do y'all remember that? I'm not going to stop another football player from eating. Arena football shut down. That doesn't mean the owners are going to stop making money. That means they transfer it over. You got people who transfer it over to the XFL, the CFL, and you know they now join. Still same. Arena football been gone. He did the research on it. Arena football has been gone for eons. He said in his first interview with Simply Wavy that they were losing money because of this recent teaser stuff. He just... Mm. Owner, do your research. It's simple. You can, uh, the same arena football team that was in Austin is now an XFL team in Austin. And that's the Rock's favorite team as far as the XFL go right now because they join. It's the same owner. So we did the research. The arena football team in Austin is called the Austin Wranglers, with Doug McGregor being listed as the owner. According to the article, Doug also owned another arena team, the Georgia Force, both of which shut down prior to 2024. The XFL has eight official teams listed, several being in Texas, but none in Austin. Houston's owner is listed as Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia. In fact, all eight teams are owned by Dwayne Johnson and Danny Garcia with no trace of Doug McGregor. You go to their website and take a look. They have highlights from Arena Football because the fact is it's the same owner. All he did was change the name of the team. They, that's it. They change venue, still in the same city. And I'll say this to anybody who's a football fan, if you don't know this, if a league shut down, it doesn't mean the owner going to surrender and say, oh. I'm you said Arena Football uh, uh, specifically. You're not talking about old DXL or nothing like that. You said the arena football team that you was on, that they called you and said that they was losing ticket sales because of this, but the team has not been in existence. You telling a whole ass lie. Oh my God. I guess I'm out of business. No, if there's another league that he can get into, he's going to do so. I understand some people as a football fan, you may not understand the ins and outs of how. Neither do you ownership works but there's always another way that you can keep a fan base but they're no longer existing so they wouldn't really matter to say the name because they're not even a team anymore the way i understand it and the way it works if you sold some of my season tickets and you no longer that league doesn't exist and you don't want to give their money back but you jump you take your organization to another league you're going to honor those tickets no they don't no they don't don't nobody honor nobody else's old season passes and plus season tickets, you renew them every year. You don't buy a lifetime of season passes. So, oh, God. That's how that works. The lies, the lies, the lies. 
we, we obviously aren't going to be able to get any pictures of San Diego State football or the Arena League. Can you show any football picture? Uh, as part of their legal action, no. So you can't show any football picture, not even you as a, a kid? Uh, as far as my lawyer is concerned, not until we're finished with all of this. Now we're talking about a lawyer and pictures. Now, your lawyer did not stop you from doing this lying ass video. Your lawyer gave you clearance to do this lying ass video, in my opinion. But your lawyer ain't going to let you show a picture of you as a kid, a teenager, a, 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 a young adult man, a big fat black ass lying man. You mean to tell me that you can't show a picture? No receipts. Um, you, have, you, have, you, have the, you have the people at San Diego State um, pushing like... <laughs> I think I said this to sister in law yesterday when we were talking. You got the whole thing with TikTok going on. Like they want to they want to get rid of TikTok. One of the reasons they want to get rid of TikTok because of stuff like this. Like this type of stuff. Me, I don't I don't care less. Like I said, I'm I'm not on it. Um I think I, I might glaze through it every once in a while. Because you don't have to be I have a membership of watch funny videos. That's the most I've ever seen on there. And I didn't like I said I someone called me and said, Hey, she making this how I knew anything about the videos. So you saying TikTok is is facing ban because people are posting their stories um it's more to it than that than what i understand but i mean for me personally watching people pretend to be me watching her story watching people give their take on it it's, i mean freedom of speech i'm not mad at that i just think that if tiktok was getting shut down for stuff like this youtube would have been shut down do you know how many people do knock out drag out all kinds of series and everything on youtube instagram before to, uh, uh, a Snapchat, bitch, um, um, all kinds of apps before TikTok even started. That is not the reason why they're shutting down TikTok. But see, when you tell a lie, when you tell a lie, it needs to be defended and he can't defend it. That is not why they're taking TikTok down. But you know what? A lie I always think they're the smartest person in the room. It's my opinion that he's a liar. Because this is not, TikTok is not shutting it down. You know how much money TikTok made off of that girl series? Why would they shut it down? So, oof. Or way I look at it with my dad, you say it's not good. Cool. So you, you got a lot of women for something. People have obviously pulled court records and stuff, and they said they've seen the impersonating officer and being sentenced a week in jail. Yeah, when I got that cleared up, um, I, had, I ended up having to go to court three days in a row. Uh, because for two days he didn't want to come. His friend Frank made him come the third day. And then that was the deal with him. And they let him slide because he was ex-military. How? They wouldn't have made him slide if he was ex-military. He would have been court-martialed. Bitch, if he's a military man doing something like that, they would have court-martialed his ass. It's worse to do something like this if you military. But he said because he was military, he slid through. Don't you know his commander officer would have first of all, once he would have hit the rocket, they would have been saw that he had some. He think again, a liar think they're the smartest person. They would have court martialed his ass. Not slid. He would have got a dishonorable discharge in some motion. But he wants us to believe that he got special privileges because he was in the military. Okay. Oh, is he going to weekend jail with your ID? You better ask some people in Georgia. A friend of mine that used my license and he had to do weekend jail, not me. Remember, he said a friend of mine. With that stuff, because he had to prove that's his job that I can't work weekends and weekends. Yeah, that's it. The thing is, so he's in the military and he's working in the weekends at the jail, and he's not okay. All right. You said he has the receipts to show to his employer to know, like, hey, I'm going to I'm going to weekend jail. I'm doing everything right. How would his employer be able to verify that with your ID and your name on the weekend receipts? The only thing I know, uh, I think they, they they gave him off so that he could do the weekend stuff. How that they gave him off it worked out. The captain ain't going to tell y'all. So I have no idea. And again, I have no idea. So I can't tell you. All I know is 
they worked it out with him where he could get off and be there for for that part of it. And that was the end of it for me. When I went to go check my record to make sure that was off, it was off. And I didn't think nothing else about it after that. But why would he use your ID, though? That's the part that I'm not understanding. Because in my car, what I used to do, which I had stopped doing this, is because in Atlanta, if you black and you ride around, you need to make sure you got your license with you all the time. Sometimes I jump up, run out, run to work, run back. If you black or white or Asian or any other race, you make sure, bitch, when you're driving, you have a driver's license. That don't have jack to do with you being black. It is a thing that you're supposed to do when you are operating a motor vehicle. You're supposed to have a license for doing so. What the f does that have to do with you being black? Oh, but that's supposed to be something you're supposed to connect with. Boy, stop. Whatever. In my job, you need to have your ID with you to get into the facility. Your whatever your driver's license is, it goes with your company ID. They have to be tagged. So that means that you had that in there and you breached security because if you had that in there, he could have came in there with your ID and your driver's license and tore the joint up. He could have did whatever he wanted to. So you breached security. Downtown at your job. Okay. So for me, I would leave him in the car. He used my car. He got in trouble. Okay, so they pulled him over and he showed them your ID. Pretty much. And they gave him a ticket, is what so, I understand. So, so when they gave him a ticket, when they gave him a ticket, they <laughs> let him go. Whatever happened after that, only thing I know is I got a letter in the mail saying, hey, I failed to appear in court. When I went down, because a uh, company lawyer was like, hey, you got to go enter yourself in, find out what's going on. As soon as I got down, I. Oh, the company said he had to turn himself in. I have to do nothing because the guy, the officer said, that's not the guy that I stopped. Does not drop a ticket. A, de a, a police officer cannot ID you in a lobby where you got a whole bench warrant out for you and say that ain't the guy. Case closed, next case. But a lot of them care who tell it. It's the guy on the. A lot of brothers. A friend of mine that used my license. A friend of mine that used my license and he had to do weekend jail, not me. A friend of mine, now they look alike because they was brothers. Keep trying to tell y'all, I don't care who tell it. But okay. okay. But like I said, he said that's not the guy I stopped. And I asked him, I asked the officer, while we were down there, who did you stop? And he was like, well, somebody was driving your car. And I asked him where he got the ID from. They went over everything with me. He pulled it from the side door. And I was like, okay, so that's where I keep everything. That part of it is kind of confusing, though, because it's confusing. It's confusing to me. And like, again, I can't tell you what they went and did. You got to get the captain on and let him tell you because I don't know. The only thing that happened after that was I went to court a couple days later. They threw it out for me and they took it off. And that was the end of it. I that's didn't hear anything else about it three days until in a row. he called me and said, hey, bro, I need to ride for a weekend. Jail. And then he explained to you, hey, look, I got pulled over in your car. So I just want to go over the story real quick. I knew I knew that already. He didn't explain anything. All I did was pick him up. We were already really not speaking to each other because my father yeah, had been passed. I dropped him off where he asked me to. So basically what you're saying, your brother took your car, got pulled over, gave them your ID because it was already in the car. The officer issued a, um, a court appearance. They yeah. gave him a ticket. He didn't he I didn't pay it court. and didn't go to court because obviously you didn't go to court because it wasn't your ticket. And I didn't know about it. the officer did not know that this wasn't this man's ID because y'all look so similar. Wells Fargo has provided five point six million dollars to help launch financial health. I didn't find out anything until my job did periodic background checks on everybody that worked there. So it came up that I had a warrant and I'm like, for what? Unpaid ticket. I'm like, where? So at that point, instead of going and turning myself in, I went to the company lawyer. I asked him, how do I rectify this? Because I wasn't where this was. He said, did anyone borrow your car? He's the only person I let use my car. So again, when I asked him about it, he told me he didn't know anything about it. How old was this unpaid ticket? And since when, if you have one ticket and this unpaid, they enter a bench war for it, what kind of violation was it? You know how many people got tickets on top of tickets on top of tickets and ain't got no bench warrant out for them? What kind of crime was it? Okay, I digress. Let's move on. So then the company lawyer said the best thing for you to do is you have to go down there. He went now as the company lawyer. Okay. Down there with me when we went down there again, we were sitting 
on a bench. We waited for the officer that was on the ticket, and he said, "That's not the guy that I stopped." Got gotcha. you, because people are also mentioning the the officer story was on your background check. That's that that's his record, not mine. Now explain, was he using your ID to? to what I found out is that he used my ID for a lot of stuff, and I'm still not aware of everything. But again, all I did and what the lawyer did was. He's sitting here when we start looking at this. That clock, the time on the clock was six eleven. It's seven thirty eight, and he's still talking. Lying, it's dark outside. Simply, baby, you put the work in, cause boo, I couldn't have did it for no damn hour. It's cleared up who was actually using it, because the address that I guess that charge was, I never lived there, never even, never even posted it. So he, so he was using your ID to do like whenever he got in trouble, he would present them the ID. I have, I have no idea. Again. Christopher James Rogers, don't ask me to explain what he think about because I don't know. As far as the uh, like the impersonating the officer story, that's something she got. That's something she got. That's something that happened with D, and she just used that again. Christopher James Rogers, when I asked him about it, he he denied it, and then he he thought it was funny, and he was like, "If I did, it don't matter now because you got it cleared up." My brother Michael has tried to build a relationship with him. I'm a little bit of a colder soul when it comes to that because at the funeral he showed his ASS. And for me, I was done with it. I ain't gonna say it's a jealousy thing or nothing like that. Christopher's issue is he don't take responsibility for nothing he do, and it's good to put it on me and his brother Michael. That's what he. That's, that's easy to say we did something wrong. He is just dropping names, but he can't show a picture. But he can show drop a bitch name. Let's be his ass up, shall we? Yes, we shall. Cause the lies is just too much. Let's see. We idolized this dude. We thought he was the coolest thing ever. Um, this is a dude. This dude or your brother? This dude or your brother? If it's your brother, you would say, I, I idolize my brother. Now he's just this dude. Okay. Who's been to George Jr. locked up for doing dumb stuff in high school. We still idolize him. He had a military career. He screwed that up because he couldn't keep it in his pants. And we still idolize this dude. Me, I, I ain't got no problem telling anybody in the world, the captain, Christopher James Rogers, I stopped dealing with him because to me, he turned into what I never thought he would be, which is a bump. You don't still keep it. So how can he turn into a captain and he had all these okay in contact with the uh the, the guy and the lady who Teresa was cheating with? Um the last time I spoke to either one of them, um they were on vacation and they went to Atlantic City and they both reached out to me because in a new relationship and they were telling me their progress, they got a baby. Um and their marriage was doing good. You know, they, they reached out when it first happened. How you feeling? And they were trying to gauge my feelings. And I was just like, I'm not I'm trying not to pay any attention. But like I said, when I visit my family, that's when I had to, you know, want to say something. Yeah, let's talk to them and see if we can get them on there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I know he ain't gonna say that. His wife probably did. For him, I think revisiting that, I guess, and you, you know, because you see, he married still with his wife. I think for him, it's a tough one. Um, for her, you know, I ain't trying to be mean. She just don't care. She she don't care. She, well, if she don't care, I would love for you to reach out to her. I can shoot her a text, but like I said, that don't mean she can ask. You know, she says she's working right now. Can't talk right now. Working right now. Yeah. So. Tell her even if she even if she could not get on the phone and send like an audio message confirming it, that's all she would have to do. Well, like I said, I, I'm not gonna keep bothering her about it because we, we all spoke about this. Like I said, her, her husband, my girlfriend, sister-in-law. But um, not to mention Hima, her roommate. Like, we all got together. We all had to sit down and game plan this situation. Someone said, How did you go to college late? Because your family couldn't afford it, but you also got a Cadillac as a graduation present. Now we had a whole bunch of money growing up, but everybody in my household, when you graduated high school, you got a car. You, 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 when you graduated and you put the cabin down on, you pulling up to your graduation. My first, my first car was a Cadillac, a Fleetwood Cadillac. First of all, I didn't get no car for graduation. I bust my butt off that summer and two summers. before and bought my own first car. Cadillacs was my dad's thing. I ain't have a Cadillac. My dad drove two of them. I used his car from time to time, but no, I ain't get no dad on Cadillac. I wish. You said you did. But I wouldn't even drive a car like they gave me one. I hate those. And on top of that, when I went to school, I went to school with no car. I didn't get the car until after freshman year. My parents didn't. God, he switched up so quick. And what he don't understand is it's simply Wavy is sitting there waiting for him to lie. He waiting on him to lie. He waiting on it. I had money sent me to school because Christopher was already kicked out the Air Force by then. And they were paying off his debt. I went to college on me alone. My scholarship, my artwork. I didn't go to college late. I graduated in 97. I went to college that August, 97. I graduated in 2001. They're asking if the guy that you uh, switched phones with could come forward about that story. I, I have not talked to James in years. I don't even know how to contact him. No, I think he's actually a friend of mine on Facebook. I think he's a friend of mine on Facebook. James, yeah, I think he is. But I, I haven't physically spoken to him. You said that the phones, she had the codes to your phone? We can't lock the company phone. We're not. Okay, because you had said... 
You said you can't lock the company phone, but then you said she had a code on one of your phone. That was just you missed My personal phone, yeah. I get home, she tell me I went through the phone or whatever, because we're not allowed to we weren't allowed to lock those phones either. The nature of my job, I had to have two phones. Simple as that. Um she had a password to both of them. Okay. That's my wife. I would I don't lock nothing. My girlfriend got a code to my phone now. She don't, I don't you know, the number one thing that guys do is and I'm and I know it's probably stereotype, but they be like, Oh, my girlfriend ain't getting a password to my phone. Oh, she got a password to my phone, she's going there and touch my phone. Question is uh you said that Egypt lives in St. Louis, but she's in school in Duluth, Georgia. Her mother is from St. Louis. Um they cut they Look at what time he been interviewing him. She actually go back for holiday. She goes to school to lose high school. And that information I didn't give you. So again, that was to protect her. So she don't have to go to school and deal with the Risa Tisa foolishness. I was but you said that she was already dealing with the Risa Tisa bullshit. She's doing something nice. And they were in St. Louis at the time. So the only way she could get them is if I mailed them to her. I'm not going to I'm not going to. Y'all hear all these lies? Or is it just me? Do I need to slow it down? Do y'all hear these lies? How can a person like lie like this? Oh my God. If I advertise her mom on online or talk about, I mean, she graduated from high school this year from Duluth High School. The movie, What's Love Got to Do With It came out. I, I, I love Tina Turner, Angela Bassett. I think she did a marvelous job. But you got to understand something. Nobody ever asked Ike Turner did anything that happened. They just decided. Now, it took, what, 25, 30 years later for Tina Turner herself to come out and say, well, we embellished a lot of that for the movie. But that was okay because everybody demonized Ike for, what, 20 years? He beat her ass. To get online. And I talked to her mom for three hours. <laughs> you talking about rent? Alexa. Now, bitch. Now, you know, if he had Alexa, the moment he would have said Alexa, Alexa would have answered. Child, they didn't cut the lights out. See, this is God. This was a sign. This wasn't a lightning bolt. This was just a sign, bitch. You lying. And he gonna sit up there and act like he got Alexa when he know that his girlfriend is running around the table getting ready to flick the light back on. Bitch, you can't make this stuff up. Turn on living room. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that. Uh oh, Alexa, turn on living room. So the people that are in the house right now, right? You just I'm too sick to be. <laughs> Bitch, Alexa ain't say nothing. Alexa ain't say yes. What do you need? Alexa, just shut. You can't make this. Y'all know Alexa talk back to you when you ask Alexa to do something. You can't make this stuff up. You said sister-in-law. Is that somebody that's close with your family? Um, yeah, somebody. Yeah. Does she know about like any medication or anything like that? Any medication? I take I take medication for pain if the limbs hurt from the accident. Um, other than that, uh, no. So no, no sign like no mental medication. Okay, so it. let me ask y'all this: Do I take any antipsychotic medicine? No. <laughs> no, no. You start laughing. I, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Anybody want to do? Do I take anything? Am I crazy? Anybody think I'm nuts in this I house? But for real, like other than crazy about your sister. But am, no, am I? No. Like, am I? Am I nuts? The only yeah. person make me nuts in this house is nuts. <laughs> That's a dog. Well, I'm just asking about the medication. I'm saying so. It, 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 no, you watch me pop my stuff in the morning time. Ain't anything, oh, you pop in the morning time. What you popping? Here, hold on. There you go. Put that in your ear, in your little tiny ear. And this is the girlfriend? This is your girlfriend? Yep, it is. Hello. I don't even know how to begin this. Um, I really just feel like this is a waste of time because people want to say whatever they want to say. They want to feel the way they want to feel. And I just really believe that it's just not even worth it. It's, it's just really enough. Enough is enough. It's but a done deal. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. He's not psychotic. He's not bipolar. He's he's none of the stuff that is being said right now. Me personally, I had enough of it. I'm gonna give you. Let question. me ask you something. Before you, before you just just. I'm sorry because I know you you want nothing to do with this really, and it aggravates you to death. But Damn it, I'm, I'm I'm gonna say this so people can hear this. So they always say my favorite one is that I'm a narcissist. I, I'm I don't believe I'm wrong. What do I always say to you? I'm always wrong. <laughs> I mean, you're you're the one that's right. I'm wrong all the time. I, all the time. I, I, I just shut that's up. At point. I don't even. That is narcissistic behavior to, to to make you think 
that you crazy. So when you wrong, he can prove that he's right. That's narcissistic right there to say, I'm the one that's wrong. You right, baby. That's some bullshit. You know, I don't, I don't say nothing. I, I, I follow, I fall behind Max and who right. Max probably write more than me. But like the people, like I said, the reason I said that, I'm sorry, but the reason I say that is because yeah, she will have you believe that this person that she's talking about and he don't, that person don't exist. You haven't seen no. him. I've never seen him. And these, and these two people, they, they're around me all the time. I love my sister to death. My sister-in-law, because she's always like, she like the leader of the pack for us because she, <laughs> she far, she, now nah, she's going to be over laughing, but she's a lot smarter than I am. So when all the situation got started, she was the person kind of gave me an idea well, how you want to handle this, how you want to go about this. So when I, I look online, sometimes it's funny to me, but when I hear somebody say, oh, like, she said, oh, he's a narcissist. Oh, where? And I'm always wrong. The only thing I need from you is if you can provide any type of pictures for the, the house, that wheelchair and some school pictures you said. No, um, go, page public? no it's private. I made it private. The minute them women started hitting me up. And then a lot of them are asking about a lie detector test. Because he guess that's my point. Here's what, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'll say. Why, why are we asking questions for them? They're curious. They can be curious all they want. The audience, he should be giving those people who should be asking for photos about him being in wheelchair, anything like that. It's the freaking warriors, not them. That's where I'm at with it. Well, they don't know. They got a medical record. I, I know that. Oh, but my point is, is that to me, this the public, all they want to do is just demonize it even more like they did the first video. If you feed a monster, the monster will grow. That's pretty much where I'm going at. I feel like we're beating a dead horse. But to put, you, put a photo of you in a wheelchair, come on. Who, what? What's the reason? Because that's not a, what he's saying is not a good reason for me. So I don't care how he feels, but right about now, I'm saying no. Hello? Hey. Uh, I'm in the middle of doing, I was just talking about you actually. I was in the middle of doing this Zoom meeting talking about Teresa's foolishness. Uh, I mean, so he says, I was just talking about you. Why didn't he say I just sent you a text message? Thank you for answering. Okay. I don't believe this the woman, but okay, we're gonna go with it. If he wants to speak to you, that's fine. Can you hear her? Yeah, who 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 is that? Um, this is the lady that took care of me when I was in a car accident that was kind of around when she was making these phone calls. Teresa was. No, we need to talk to the wife. We need to talk to the wife. That's who he asked you to talk to, the wife. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, I took care of him, you know, including because people out in the rehab center when they was doing right by him. You know what I mean? I, you know, made sure that they were taking care of him because when I could. And, um, yeah, we got squared away. Brothers walking. I'm happy as hell. I'm happy to take I'm happy as hell. Yeah, she was calling, telling him she was going to have me because I was in the hospital because she talking about, oh, I wish you to die in the hospital, this, that, and the third. I was other bullshit. So, yeah, she is a bitter evil little thing and she's gonna run ahead but hey she was calling you talking about him yeah she would call my phone and then like i said i was in a wheelchair so sometimes i can't answer the phone and then she would answer how long since they were dating did she call and and, and wish all those things about him uh, i was all we were we were done like a year and i feel like you're being super nice to her <laughs> she deserved to get in the throat. <laughs> i mean it, it's it's like it goes like this like she says like in her story she says that oh she was looking for me or whatever the case may be i was already going through like rehab like get to walk again and only thing she called to say is Oh, first she called me and said, "Hey, I want you back." And then when I was in with that, that's when I hope you die. That's good. So any like any time like we we had a situation where we went out one day and I was I was having a horrible day getting in and out of the car. It was snowing outside, and mm -hmm. where I know you remember that day because that's the day came you was really on it and you were just she just wouldn't get off the phone. She kept calling. She called me like thirty times. So you like just explain to him the day that she called when we when you took the phone from me. Well, actually, it happened twice. Not that my memory's working, but uh, mm -hmm. for this particular day. He wasn't feeling the greatest. I, I was trying to do stuff to get him out of his pocket, just to get him out of the house and kind of give him a different lease on life because I, I suffer from depression myself, so I know it's hard. I know what it looks like. So I suffer from depression too. I suffer from depression. I guess I thought he didn't have nothing going on with him. She just confirmed that he suffers because if you're adding two on the end, you're doing a comparison. I suffer from depression too. Um, I'm trying to get her together to get her in the car, and she won't get off the phone. But she's not saying anything worth saying. She's saying the same thing she's been saying. And he's just telling her, look, I don't want to talk about this. I don't get off the phone. I don't get off the phone. And bless his heart, he didn't hang up because I would. I sure did. Because I told her, I said, you are a conniving little bitch. This man is in a wheelchair because of you. Everything that's going on right now, you did it. So why the fuck are you, you know, trying to make this, uh, trying to exacerbate what you've already done? The deal is done. The deed is over. Get over it. And I don't get the phone. And I don't care. I'll do it again. Ask her to her knowledge. Why did y'all break up? Do you know why? You, do you remember why we broke up? Why I stopped dealing with Teresa? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brain is working. Brain is working. Damn. She get the lot of gavel boom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. My brain is telling me it was with a friend of yours. Yeah, uh, he was sort of a friend. He was he was her friend, but I know because he comes to the house all the time. So okay. he worked with her. That was Mister Black Charger, the one that the one that called that day when his his wife wanted to know <laughs> should she take him. Oh, so he giving her the info. Okay. Back. 
did she ever hear anything like that? Did she ever hear the, the guy call? I mean, yeah, she was she was there. Like I was on the phone with him when she when he called. Like he was on speaker. She heard bits and pieces of the conversation. You remember the day we, I talked to the guy when he was trying to apologize for them two screwing? I didn't hear the whole conversation because I kept walking in and out of the room. I was like, just dropping people's conversations. That's not what I do. And he was trying to apologize and you know trying to get Jay uh, to call his wife and take him back. Some some. That's not, it's dumb either way. But what the hell was Jay gonna say at the end of the day? You you did what you did with his wife, so Dr. Mo burn hell. And that's how I felt. What, what what's been going on for me is that my friends who were privy to my association with Jay are calling me still because they keep seeing all this stuff on social media, YouTube, they're sending me clips of different videos and whatnot. I, I finally busted a few people out just yesterday. But um yeah, my friends and people that love and care about me are calling me like, you know, don't trust this dude, stay away from him. I know you, you know, that you're a caring person and he took advantage of you. They're telling me that, you know, Risa Tisa is online talking about how he was never in no hospital, she ain't him with no car, that he ruined her life and all this other stuff. And then it is, you know, all the women trying to join into the fray to gain the sympathy for it. So yeah. <laughs> Bro, was I was I was I actually in the hospital wheelchair, all that we had? Man, this man was I don't know how deep he wants me to go, but I will go ahead. I had, go ahead. To, I had to wipe his like when he couldn't get up and make it to the bed, I had to clean him. I had to change the bed. I had to lift his big up and down, out of the house, down the steps, into the car, out of the car, wheelchair and all. This is this is this is why we were going through the divorce. Like this is why we were going through all this. Mm-hmm. I seen the hospital papers. Can't nobody tell me he wasn't in no hospital. Can't nobody tell me he wasn't crippled. And nobody in their right mind gonna sit there and. You said he was crippled, but he denied it. But okay. And do what the hell he went through and what he went, I had to deal with. Did she know you prior to um you in that condition? Nope. I met him, what, December, not this past December, December before, on Facebook dating, and he, you know, quickly disclosed, look, I'm in a wheelchair, this, that, the third, and he wouldn't even get on video chat with me after a while, but as he kept telling me his story, I finally convinced him to get on video chat with me so I could see for myself, and everything he said was real, the man was in a wheelchair living with a crackhead, with a bra, they kept coming over, and they was cussing and fighting, and all the other, there was no way for him to heal in that type of environment, so me being the human that I am, and I just went, I said, I'm gonna get you. I don't, I don't think I cussed her out not once, I don't think I used that one. Nothing profane, no profanity towards her. Because at the time, like I said, I was trying to heal. Like, first of all, you, you come home, you see your wife cheating. And you, you you try to fix it, you can't fix it. Then you're in an accident while you're trying to re- trying to figure out what you're going to do, how does this divorce going to work. And then this whole time I'm going through recovery. Yeah, she she calling, looking for me. Like, until I got the phone cut off, finally. um, That's when everything stopped. Finally. Another video, y'all. I mean, another ad. It's system. All of those who are curious about it and have come in late, um, Simply Wavy has allowed me to um, review this video in its totality. So I am allowing his ads to play so that he can get paid it is very generous of him to allow me to do that. So that is how he makes his money on his channel. And so I want to respect him by playing his ads. I apologize for any inconvenience that it may cause you. We were good. She cheated. I tried to deal with it. I couldn't. And I walked away. That's that's simply what happened. Ended up- it wasn't a damn answer. She ran over. Well, that's a whole nother story. Never had an injury with knees at all until I was in a car accident. And that was after her and I were divorced. Say that part? The, the reason I was in an accident is, is Teresa's fault. So her knowledge, what happened? Uh, you want to tell, tell them what happened? I don't even like talking about it, so. So. <laughs> Basically, she, you can't. She, I t- she came to get some of her stuff. You want, you want to tell her? Well, I came, I came to get my stuff. I came to get stuff out of her house to take home to mine. And when I was in the driveway, she decided to back over me with my vehicle. What was, you didn't. Press charges? You can't press charges. You're unconscious. Bitch, where did this? Bitch, I can't. So now he says she ran over him with a car. Then why wouldn't she know? Why? Okay, that don't make sense. If she's sending email back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, they're still tip. They're still married. Why wouldn't she know where he is? If she ran over him. 
Well, why wasn't there a police report? None of that done. He in a hospital, bitch, full fledged in a coma, in a wheelchair. And you mean to tell me this vengeful mother, in my opinion, didn't press charges on her? Bitch, you can't make this stuff up and make it sound real at the same time. The two of these things cannot be right at the same time. I'm sorry. He said she ran over him, but she didn't know he went to the hospital. We just saw the text messages of her looking for him. Bitch, you cannot. Come on, boy. I woke up at Grady Memorial. So didn't y'all have a ring camera from there? I woke up with crushed pelvis, emergency surgery for appendix, leg crushed, arm crushed. We talking about This is the sickness that she said he was having in the house. Now he trying to say that the sickness that he was having in the house... Remember y'all when she was saying that, hey, y'all, excuse my wheezing. Um, you y'all remember when Risa Tisa was talking about how he had gotten real sick and he had lost like a hundred and fifty pounds, bitch. Now he trying to say it's cause she ran over him at the house. I can't. Y'all wired shut, pins in my arm, pins in my in my knee, torn ACL on the other side. You talking about when all this happened? Yeah, Jerome could have jumped online and started telling people all this. I I ain't I ain't do all that. Cause why? I'm fighting for my life too. While that's going on, yeah, she spent time looking for me in Atlanta, running around. She wasn't worried at all. This is... But she ran over you, motherfucker. See, I can't. Oh, he got a girlfriend now, and he happy. And I'm bitter, I'm mad. And once the video took off, I'm going to use this and get fake. So who's the girlfriend? The one that just said that she was wiping the crack in his eye? The girl that's on the phone is his girlfriend? She got a girlfriend now, but you just... He, you know, and make this make sense. First of all, he just said that he just found out that she was cheating on him with somebody down to the job. He's sitting up there allegedly supposed to be having a wife on the phone, but this is a caretaker who's been wiping his A. He shows text messages of the girl looking all over the world for him. And now he's sitting up here telling us that Risa Tisa was upset because he had a girlfriend during the time that he was going through it. So he was cheating on Risa Tisa? I'm confused at it. She ran over him and he... I can't. But let's go back to that, that story, though, because, like, I'm confused. And because she, she got famous, she got money, she took trips to Paris, got a BMW, like, she did. I always say the same thing. Don't let the face fool you. When you look at her, you say, oh, you feel bad for her. You feel... And when I look at all of those gaps that need repairing in your mouth, that makes me confused. It makes me confused that you had all of this money, bitch, offshore accounts, and you care nothing about your smile. I know I'm gonna get in trouble for saying, but I'm saying well, you feel bad for a demon. What you feel bad for? The person that she make you making me out to be, that's her. What's the best, what's the growth they say? The greatest lie the devil ever told. Let's go back to the hospital though, because I'm trying to figure out you didn't ever think to bring up, you know, like bring that up to the police or anything. Like she worked for the police, didn't she? I was out for weeks. Like I wake up, they explain another <coughs> surgery. I'm sorry. When the police got involved. Okay, so when the police came, they would have pressed charges on her if she ran over. He he thinks that nobody knows how the system works. Hey, Tamika's dead. Hey, Pookie. Hey, Bookie. Let me shout out my boo boo, too. Hey, bring joy, bring joy. Thank you so much for the 199 super chat. She said, This man could lie to Jesus and her apostles. You ain't never lied. That's just ridiculous, right? here. It just doesn't make sense. It's so many holes in it. Oh, again. What can they do at this point? Yeah, they asked her questions. Did she say she didn't do it? Yeah, she did. Who was out there other than the ambulance driver? I was on the ground. In her story, she said the neighbor had a ring camera. And that's how they... Yeah, they had a camera. That's how they saw when you did this to her car. Figured out. Okay, that well, why did, so why the neighbor didn't... Why did she get a fit footage from the video from the neighbor saying that, that none of this happened? Again, I always look at that. The neighbor that she talking about, that woman never dealt with her. They would have pulled tire tracks. They would have pulled all kinds of stuff off of his clothes to prove the fact, prove that she ran over him maliciously with a car. He's so ignorant. She didn't like her. Okay, but her hitting you, though, is and putting you in a hospital, that's that's kind of different. They're going to do an investigation on that. They can do that. yeah, that's on them. I didn't do, I couldn't do anything. I was out. When I woke up, by the time I found out the level of the surgery that I needed and what had to happen, that's what I was focused on. Bitch, people been in comas. So you didn't care about getting no compensation back from her hitting you or nothing? I care about living, breathing, breathing. 
I got told, hey, it's a slim chance you gonna walk again, brother. So let's see what you focus on. You focus on. And you didn't want no restitution from this. You didn't want charges pressed on her for this. And I'm gonna tell you right now. Can I just be honest with y'all asses? The state would have picked up picked up the charge. He wouldn't have had to do nothing. For something like that, the state would have picked up the charge and he would not have had to do anything. You're cheating, lying, ex wife, or do you focus on maybe I might not even walk again? I might live my life in a wheelchair. Well, two can be true. I would simultaneously be, wor be worried about the main part is walking, but unfortunately, at the time, my concern was what am I going to do if I cannot walk again? And that would give you a liar. Give me personally vengeance to where I would say we need to make sure the person that did this is again trying to survive. I simply wavy sat through this and kept his composure and did not flat out call him a lying mother. I don't understand it. Five is I could not have done this. It's more of a motivation than getting revenge. If I want revenge, I could have got on here and I could have said all this and then and went back. I don't, I'm not seeking that. They would have picked up the charges. So you a whole ass lie. But anyway. My life is quiet and I like it that way. The only part this disruption is and why are you doing these interviews with him? This your second interview was simply wavy. But okay. I gotta go online. I gotta hear her. Matter of fact, you're third because in the first interview that we reviewed together in a watch party, you had on two different outfits. This is your third time talking to Simply Baby, but you want a private life and you're bitching all of them sitting around. Stop it. You calling people on the phone and texting all that kind of stuff, but you won't show no pictures. You just whatever. Tell a whole story and make herself sound like a victim for you guys to, to give her the credit. And again, even after this video, whatever you do with this, they're gonna tell you, oh, she lying, you got her to say all this, but that's not true. But again, I don't need to go out here and clout chase. I have no desire or no need to be famous. Um, I don't want to be on somebody's screen, I want to buy my life online. I'm already watching the lie on Tubi that what she said my life was, which it wasn't. I'm I'm a I was a grown man laying in the bed and can't take myself to the bathroom. Hey, what is up, Transformers fans? Well, this is it, Brian. I try the is about to drop. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait. He was not getting up to go to the bathroom. He was drinking the power aid and then using the empty bottles to pee in. Were you peeing in water bottles? No. I'm, I'm scooting on my butt downstairs to get into a wheelchair to go to Walmart. Did she ever? I thought the other girl was wiping your ass and, and taking you around and doing for you. The one that just was on there screaming? I'm confused. Where was she? Other than on the other end of the phone. Okay. Her mention that, like, in a text message, I'm sorry, or anything that showed her being the one that did that. Teresa is remorseless uh, on stuff like that. Like the phone, she started off being sorry in the beginning. Like Kima can tell you, like, call and say, I want you back. She started being sorry, offering to come up, take care of me, bring me back up. Yeah, but once she realized, oh, he's not taking me back, yeah, she stopped because she couldn't find me. And then, because you are the most eligible bachelor around, boo. Ain't nobody like, nobody like you. No way to be found. Again, she talked to a cousin. The cousin, oh yeah, he got a girlfriend. He up here, he walking again. He back, he, he good again. Oh, I'm a demonized. You had the accounts, offshore accounts and everything. No, she knew. She knew about it. She knew about what? She knew about all the money. Because again, if she wanted something, but what, is the, go buy it. what I'm saying is what is the money that you're referring to? Because you're saying the money, but. <laughs> the money I made working, not only just ball, working. My job. What money are we talking about? We talking about a quarter million? We talking about under that? What like? I'm not, I'm not telling people how much money I got sitting in the bank. He's so stupid because people can find him based on that house across the street. Again, that's just I had I had very I had enough to live very very comfortably and I added to what I had to live very very comfortably because after I was finished with all that means now with them keys and them gray walls them smoke stained walls and this little cheap 1977 light stand and that orange picture frame boo and that digital clock sitting up there and then you shouting out the um to see uh to 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 child who is he just shouting out to and and she didn't answer she had your ass in the dark and and uh, come on now with these keys these keys back here don't show a man that's used to having as much money as you see. I'm sorry. We ain't going to have our keys hanging on the door like that. But okay. And getting a job. She didn't pay bills. So again, am I flipping burgers and I'm paying all the bills? No. So you have money, just not as much as she's alluding to. I don't know how much money she alluded to because she never gave y'all fix $600,000 cash. That's what she was saying on the house. And you just kept saying that you weren't going to do that for a house. Okay, listen. $600,000, uh, a lot more than that. Triple that. that you're saying that what you have is triple. So he said he had one point eight million dollars. So he said that he had one point eight million dollars.
So he's saying that he had $1.8 million and he's is looking like that. Our ass need to come on here and lock his ass up. Who was six hundred thousand? Then yeah, but I've quadrupled my work since then. So quadrupled six hundred thousand since the time of her talk, telling the story. So he's quadrupled it. So he's had saying that he had two. He has two point four to three point six million dollars, and his house is looking like Beverly Hillbillies, bitch. You mean to tell me that that's all? That 2.4, 3.6 million dollars can buy us a smoke stained wall ass room. When we met, yeah, okay, I ain't gonna be able to do it. Net, you, okay, so you're saying you got you got that money, you just weren't gonna put that down on the house the way she was saying. I said I'm not putting that on the house because I simply said it was just true. Them curtains are looking like they straight came out the dollar store, bitch. Dollar General at best. This is not, I mean, look at your key rings. This lamp right here, I hate to criticize because you know what it's been. But, bitch, you don't sit on an interview with a broom behind your head. Not when you got 3.2.4, 3 3.6. So he said he quad tripled it. So at first he said that it was a 600. Then he said he quad. Okay, bitch. And there's no need for two individuals to leave that size of a house. There's, there's, there's no point. The houses that she's looking at, you talking about one house with 740 square feet. And I'm like, are you? And I said to her, are you crazy? And you're not willing to show anything from. No, you know what I mean? Like, since the video got started, as many people want to get out and make a TikTok video and say, oh, you know, this, that, and the third, Legion Lion. You know how many people jumped in my inbox after the series was over with? I'll be your side chick. I'll be your. My girlfriend can test, attest to that. My sister in law can attest to that. She'll tell you, oh, well. We got phone calls. People FaceTime me, jump on the phone. First thing they say to me is, "Look, I'll be a side chick. I know you got a girlfriend." Th that's what that created. Yeah. That's what that. That's what that created. <laughs> I've explained the truth so many times to people. Uh, it ain't even funny. And she's still jumping on your TV. She lying. She jumping down to Netflix and she lying. And honestly, here's some truth for you. When Tubi took the movie or took her idea and, and did a movie, I found it funny. I watched the I watched the movie. I found it hilarious mm -hmm. because the movie came out. Yes, this, yeah. Uh, Tubi the movie premieres. I think this weekend. But they sent me the movie. So you saw the so Tubi sent him a movie. A movie early. Yeah, I saw it. I thought it was funny. It's a lie, but I mean, I, I thought it was funny. Like the dude, the dude in the video where it's supposed to be me. He, he, I'm like, you can at least got to look like me. Um, the the lady in, in, that plays her, I'm like, well, at least she looked something like her. But like, it's a bunch of. It's a whole story. It's fictional. Someone said, if Risa never kicked him out on his B-Day, why did he make a Facebook post on his birthday that said he needed to stay somewhere on me? I didn't post that. She did. A uh, go fund me. I didn't post anything. So she hacked in your account? She ain't, Yeah, she did it a couple times. First of all, she didn't keep me on my birthday. I was gone three days before my birthday because I celebrated my birthday with friends in Philly. So that means that you did have, you was out there. He I wasn't even in Atlanta. You said you shopped at Save a Lot in California. People want to know how that's possible. Who said I shopped at Save a Lot in California? Man, I used to shop for groceries in a dollar store out in California, like the Dollar Tree. Like I used to go there. I would go to like Save a Lot. I would do whatever I need to do to save that money because any day in arena football might be your last day. Okay. I ain't never seen one at Save a Lot in California. I've never seen one. My realtor that I've dealt with for years is Tori. None of those were friends of mine. The only realtor I've dealt with from 97 on is Tori. That's it. From 97 on is Tori. That's it. Hi, I just watched the Legion interview on YouTube. It is possible for you to censor. Is it possible for you to censor my name? I don't any backlash. It's almost like he has a hit list and I want nothing to do with it. I believe I was the only one he mentioned the full name. Please censor my last name at a minimum, preferably my whole name. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I literally cried when I heard him say it. Like, why? I was born in 1987. So that would have made me 10. Hint, hint. But I have nothing to add to his tangled web of lies. I don't mind to clarify. 
In the interview, he stated, I was his realtor since 1997. This is not true. In 1997, bitch, I was 10. <laughs> Zoo had to come out and clear his name. He didn't sat there and say he worked with this real estate agent. This is 1997, and he said, "Bitch, I was 10." <coughs> so I'm, I know she's gonna watch this. So I'm gonna speak directly to you, Teresa. I don't care about your, your movie deal or your cloud chasing. I don't care. I don't think I do because I don't I need to get you some help. Demonizing me if you feel like that's your therapy. You want to get on there on somebody's couch and make up a story that's fine with me. But you need to get you some help. You got somebody over here who unemployed who can jump on a plane, and go to Houston, and fly here. You can fly to New York. You can go to Good Morning America and run and tell hey, man. your story. I gotta go to get up and go to work. I don't. I can't jump on a plane and go right here and tell you know a story about a relationship that was three years ago. She changed her life, didn't she? One video at a time. One TikTok video at a time. Are you upset because I left? That's what this is. No. She found out how to get paid. You did 50 parts of a video and then you call people that I don't even I don't even talk to. My brother cops chase. Chris Christopher James Rogers, the captain, whatever, cop chase. That's 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 his thing. That's that's just what he do. Anybody who got any good sense, they know that. And something I've had to do since she's been doing all this is actually have to go stand in front of my boss, stand in front of board of directors, stand in front of alumni at San Diego State, stand in front of team members and, and say to them, Hey, I'm sorry, offer an apology for something don't have anything to do with me. Um, and this is a it's basically that means you flying, you traveling too. Cause you live in Atlanta, you said you had to go to Southern California, and you had to stand in front of board members, and you traveling just as much as her. But okay, they got bitter ex. And now the Tubi movie's out, and they stole her idea. Now she want to sue. Now her people reaching out to me saying, "Oh, we want your help to sue that." No, I'm not going to help you demonize me anymore. Than you already did. What the whole hell? One of the takeaways that I got from this is when I want to lie. If somebody asks me something I want to lie, I'm going to pause on that mother for a long time. Because they're going to think that I froze. I'm going to be like, you, okay, so what did you ask me? Let a bitch get back with you, okay? Because that'd be goddamn if I'm going to answer it real quick and be lying my ass off. I'm taking my time so I can think it out. Matter of fact, I may just be like, hold on, wait a minute, let me put that in my notes. What you ask me? Say it again so I can record it. Go ahead and ask me. Because, bitch, I'm going to get back to you in two weeks. And then you got a woman that's standing over there at the side. A woman that calls in on the phone and vouches for this. Saying that she was taking care of him. Risa Tisa said he was sick, but he denied it on the first video. Now on this one, she ran over him. What he should have asked simply way he was, give me the pre-questions up front. Risa Tisa's making her coin, whether she's lying or not. But the more he comes out, the more, in my opinion, he validates what she said about him. Because this right here is disgusting. Now, he's indicating that 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 Tubi is getting ready to put out a movie. They stole her idea. And that she's trying to sue and they want him to help sue. I don't look at Tubi movies. 
unless somebody sent it to me, I will have no interest in looking at it. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Linda Hernandez for the $10 super chat. Thank you so much, sweetie. I appreciate you. But let's see. Risa Tisa movie. Risa Tisa to be movie. I'm going to look that up and then we're going to come back and talk about it. I'm scared to click any of this because it looks like Tisa Thompson's movies and shows to be. I don't see it. And I'm going to mess with to be. Y'all, thank y'all so much for being on this ride with me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section whether or not you just think that he's a liar. And if you think he's one, why do you think he's lying like that? Is that just like really part of who he is? I guess it. it I guess if, if, if you say yes, you would have to say yes to all of it. I don't know, but I'm just like so confused about the situation at hand. And I, you know, I dare like a secondhand embarrassment. I don't know why. But I do. Again, thank you so much, Simply Wavy, for allowing me to um, stream your content and do a reaction video on it. I really do appreciate you. I wish you much success. You did a fantastic job with the first interview, and you did a fantastic job with this one. You should be commended and awarded for the work that you've done on this. May your channel grow beyond your dreams and may you continue to do investigative stories and interviews like this be encouraged my brother you know um um you're gonna be on the map okay like like seriously you're making your way to be on the map and you know and and much success to you thank you all again so much for being here i want to say thank you to linda hernandez and bring joy for the um super chat and the cash app i appreciate you all so much thank you so much Raydella, for holding it down on all three of the videos i truly do appreciate you um until we meet again y'all be safe out there in the streets and in the water. I'm going to hop off of here, take my antibiotics, and take this old woman to bed. Thank you all so much for understanding why I wasn't here for the last couple of days as I am still trying to be on the men. Thank you, Ray Della. Thank you, everybody, for the well wishes. I got my meds, and I just need to take them and let time do the rest. I love you all until we see each other again. Know that I love you and I appreciate you. Bye.